face off in the August 8th polls. Shadrach Miti, KTN News. So that's what, hap that's what happened in Nairobi. Elsewhere, the Garissa Township Parliamentary race promises to be a tough duel between majority leader in the National Assembly and incumbent MP Eden Duale and his rivals. Duale has dismissed his opponent's efforts of ganging up on him after the ODM candidate Nasser Dolan stepped down in favor of wiper candidate former Deputy Speaker Farah Malim. And as Chris Thiru now reports, clan politics is definitely going to take center stage in this battle for Garissa. Here's tonight's episode of Spotlight 2017. As the August 8th general election fast approaches, it will appear that Garissa Township parliamentary race will be one of the main constituencies to watch, given that it is currently represented by National Assembly Majority Leader, Aden Duale. Already the contest has taken shape as a three-horse race after one of the candidates on an ODM party ticket, Nasir Dolal, stepped down in favor of Wiper party candidate and former deputy speaker Farah Malim. Based on certain surveys, certain opinion polls, uh, you could see that people are neck to neck. And even in such circumstances, you say, let us, let us compromise for the greater good. Let some of us uh, hold back their own ambitions. But because then we can play probably a better role than we're going to play when we're in parliament in the new government that's going to be formed. The people of Garissa Township will dig the political graveyard of Faram Ali. So they can, they can, they can uh, meet and coalesce and that. But mark my word, clan loyalty is expected to play a big role in the region's politics. Farah and Dolal come from the largest sub-clan. Their willing and their unity may give them an upper hand. However, their willing are known to pull surprises. In the last elections, they overwhelmingly voted for the incumbent, Senator Yusuf Haji, in favor of their own Farah Malim. So it's only fair we as a coalition right now uh, uh, try and take advantage of our numbers to give us the majority in all those uh, contests. In Garissa Township, my friend, the clan dynamics is bigger than the political parties you're talking about, of the NASA and the Jubilee. Malim's decision to ditch ODM for Wiper could be informed by the sizable number of Kamba in Garissa Township seat, which could be a swing vote in case of the sub-clan numbers tie. Another candidate is Captain Abdiyare, the deputy leader of Musale Mudavadi's ANC, and hails from Audwak clan, where Dwale also hails, and this could split Dwale's votes. But I am confident that many of them right now who are in those small jubilee parties still have their, their hearts and their hopes in, uh, in NASA winning. I've seen many people who are praying for NASA to win, but are actually part of the jubilee uh, smaller parties. Those people, uh, the Ma'alims you're talking about, the Dorali you're talking about, those, they, they don't play my league. My records, my development records in the last 10 years in that constituency speaks for it. However, Duale has created a niche for himself, presenting himself as the de facto leader of not only Garissa County, but also the entire northeastern region. My friend... The way I am certain about my seat is the way Uhuru Kenyatta is certain of winning. I am winning and I'm going back to my office. <laughs> Malim, who is a former member of the ODM party, was Lagdera MP from 1993 to 1998, but made a comeback in 2008. He said to replace Aden Dwale as majority leader in the National Assembly if NASA wins next elections. Chris Dairo, KT News. Uh,